Hi everybody, it's Cheryl from Cheryl's Creations. Welcome, welcome back. Um, gosh, I have a lot of stuff for today. Um, the first thing, um, I hope this works, but um, my, my granddaughter and her friend were over here and I made the comment about wanting to learn how to do this cut thing in a, a, a video. But anyway, two 10 year old, they found me the app. It's called Cut, no, Cap Cut, C A P C U T. And it allows you to kind of edit some of your video stuff. And so, if this works right, when you see this video, there should be a number here, okay? That number should be 996. That's how many subscribers I have as of the moment that I am um, filming this video. So I'm so super excited. I'm so happy to have everybody. I'm glad that everybody checks in. And so um, when that number turns to a thousand, I will be doing um, a giveaway. Um, I have um, a couple of yarn packs that I'm going to, I'm going to do. So the next thing I have to learn is how to do the randomizer and stuff. So I'm working on that. So look for a video in the next short period of time um, and I will talk about the 1,000 subscriber video um, which will hopefully come in just a day or two. So da -da -da. I've been so excited. I look at those numbers and I'm like I'm almost a thousand. Woohoo! Anyway so what have I been working on? Been working on a lot of stuff. I have I have one thing that's pretty much done, but I want to do, I want to write up the pattern because I'm going to release the pattern at the same time as I show you the item because um, I think it's pretty cool. It may be just a retro thing for me, but so I've got that in the works. Um, working on two more sets of matching turtles. Um, let's see, what else am I... Um, I have a whole list of stuff um, to do. I had somebody message me yesterday and ask for four of the F-bombs. So that's on my list for this weekend. Um, so, um, so yeah, I'll be doing some of those. Um, what else have, have I been asked about recently? Um, I found a r couple of really cute patterns on... Um, it was in a Facebook feed, and so I saved those links, and I'll show those to you when I get them printed off, or <coughs> excuse me, um, get them, get them to where I I need them. Another piece of housekeeping: if you watch this, um, look at your Joanne Fabrics coupons. Um, I got a flyer in the mail yesterday. It has a sixty percent off. Uh, one item coupon good for, I think it said Sunday and Monday. So it's kind of a Labor Day, not Labor Day, Memorial Day weekend um, coupon. But there is a 60% off. I would be headed for another big box of fluff. So, uh, but if you're needing anything big, um, they also had a 20% off your total purchase. Um, and then they had some other ones. But I wanted to get it out there that I did see a 60% off coupon. So what have I finished? <laughs> well, one thing I want to show you is um, for an order for a baby, I had um, a gal I work with wanted an Eeyore and a set of the turtles. So the turtles are done. Um, and you've seen this pattern before, okay? Because if you remember, I did this guy out of 
the um, blanket yarns, okay? I used this same pattern with the four weight yarn. And this is how, oops, let me put him down. This is how it turned out with the four weight yarn. I like this size. This is a nice, um, nice size for uh, littles. It does have two safety eyes, but let me tell you, they are glued in there, front, back, side. Um, so um, you can see the size difference with this pattern. Um, I don't know if I can back up a little bit. Um, so blanket weight four weight. Um, the, this was a, I love this yarn. I think all of it is, I love this yarn. Um, so, um, I just picked out colors that I thought were the best. And the pattern, I did link it in another video. I will put it in here. It's just called Donkey. Um, and it is by, I can't read it backwards. Olga Krachinkin Co. I'm sorry if I butcher the name, um, but um, this pattern is very, it was easy to read. Um, now, I think I said in the other one, I have made a couple of adaptions, um, especially in like the soles of the feet. Um, I think that's the big one. And yeah, the soles of the feet is, I do them different. I just do one solid, um, you know, I do the one. The, it says to go back and do another panel and you sew everything together. I do just the one and then I start coming up the foot. So that's the one thing that I have adjusted with this pattern. So anyway... That's my Eeyore um, that is done that finishes out that order for a customer. And the other thing that I have finished this week um, are um, some axolotls. Um, they're a little bit bigger than the ones I did before. Um, so let me show you these. I did one in this color, one in this color. And one in this color. So these, oops, let me turn one around. There's the back side with the tail. So these are all made out of four weight yarn. And I think that's a nine millimeter eye. Um, and you know, these were pretty, pretty simple. Um, now, if you are a person who doesn't like to sew on pieces, this might not be a favorite of yours because I had to sew on all six of these, all four of the appendages, the arms and legs, and I had to sew on the tail. So, um, if you're not a fan of sewing, probably don't want this one. But, um, the pattern is, um... Uh, it just says Amagurumi Axolotl. Um, it is by, um, I'm trying to find the name, uh, Athena, or no, Anitha of A Little Love Every Day is the designer. So this is the, and I did get this pattern from Etsy. So that's what it looks like. Um, you know, it was a pretty straightforward, um, she does give a lot of instructions, you know, what you're going to need, um, you know, stitches, um, some hints, um, you know, some hints about tension. Um, she talks about the invisible decrease. Um, and so, um, and then as you put it together, she gives you a nice uh, placement guide as to what things are and where they go. So um, I think this is a great little pattern. 
Um, I want to take, and for some of you that, it, that know that I do this, um, I think I want to take this pattern and do it in the blanket yarn and see how it turns out. I think it's going to be fairly good size, but it's worth a try. Uh, so look for that to come up um, fairly soon because um, I want to give that a shot. So, um, so yeah, that is, um, that's the two finished things that I had ready to show. Um, and the, I'm, I think I'm more excited about the technology piece than the, the things I have finished this week. So, um, I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I get that number in there. So, um, you know, we'll, uh, we'll get that, um, that going and that'll be a fun thing I can add, um, when doing my videos. Cause there've been some things that I wanted to show, um, or talk about, but I wanted a little picture and now I know how to do it. So I'm going to get those in there. Um, so I am filming this on Thursday, the 26th, I believe. And today is grandbaby due date, but no signs of grandbaby yet. So I will keep you all posted. Um, um, son-in-law says June 1st. I hope he doesn't make me wait till June 1st. <laughs> so I'll keep you updated on uh, grandbaby's um, appearance uh, as that comes up. Um, and we are headed into Memorial Day weekend. So if you are traveling, uh, please stay safe. Um, if you are partying, please stay safe. <laughs> um, enjoy time, uh, whether it's downtime, enjoy time with family. Um, and, um, I will probably have another video up, uh, fairly soon. I've got another one that I can record. So, um, have a great day, have a great weekend. And, um, for those of you that this is the last day of school for your kiddos or grandkiddos, here comes summer. <laughs> Have a great day, everybody. Crochet away.